Most rumors are indicating that the next gen GPUs from both AMD and Nvidia are right around the corner. So now the question arises: should you wait for those GPUs or buy one right now? Now before answering that question, first we need to know what we know about these upcoming GPUs. First, let's talk about Nvidia's upcoming 50 series GPUs. According to the rumors, upcoming Nvidia GPUs could be 40 to 100 percent faster than their current gen 40 series. Now, I don't think we will see a 2x performance improvement from 4090 to 5090. I think it will be something modest around 40 to 60 percent. Now, we are talking about the highest end GPUs here. And if you think that 40 to 60 percent performance uplift is a good performance improvement, then how long should you wait? Also, I can assure you that ray tracing performance in these 50 series GPUs will be much better than what we have right now and also these GPUs will come with new and improved AI features like DLSS and frame generation. Most rumors are indicating that Nvidia will announce these GPUs around October and you will be able to buy these GPUs around holiday time which I think is quite right if we look at the company's previous trend. Now I think we will only see the 90 series and 80 series Q in 2024 and the 70 series will be around mid to early 2025 and the 60 series will come at the end of 2025 and if Nvidia plans to launch any other GPU rather than a newer version of 3050 when it comes to the low end that might be around at the end or very early 2026. And talking about the price I think that the next generation GPUs will be a little better if we compare them to the current generation price. The 5090 will cost whatever Nvidia wants it to be. And talking about all the other SKUs, well, they might be 50 to $100 less or at the same price at the current MSRP what those GPUs are selling right now. Now, it's not a huge improvement, but again, we are talking about Nvidia right here. They can do whatever they want because they have a huge grip in the industry right now. And for that reason, you want to go to AMD's side. Well, also, the 8000 series AMD GPUs are also right around the corner and we know quite a few details about these upcoming GPUs. First, there's not going to be any high-end GPU for this generation at least. That means AMD's 8000 series GPUs will be priced around from $250 to $700 but that doesn't mean that these GPUs are not going to be competitive. As of now, we know that AMD is planning a new ray tracing architecture when it comes to these GPUs. That means we can see some significant improvement when it comes to ray tracing on RX 8000 series GPUs. And there is also another problem with current gen AMD GPUs, they consume a lot more power if you compare it to current gen Nvidia GPUs. And now 8000 series GPUs are going to be much more power efficient. And that means we can expect performance uplift at the same power or while consuming less power. And also AMD is planning to launch these GPUs at the end of 2024 or very early 2025. Now with all that information, let's talk about should you wait or should you buy a GPU right now? If your GPU is good enough for at least six months to a year, if it is, then wait for six months to a year for these new GPUs and if you are waiting for the upcoming Nvidia GPUs and your performance of current gen GPU is not really good enough that means you are not getting a playable gaming experience your FPS targeted something and you are not getting that and also your other workflow which revolves around your GPU is not also going smooth then I think you should buy a GPU right now because most mid-range to low-end GPU will be released Releasing at a later date. Now, what if you are waiting for the upcoming AMD GPUs? Well, then I would suggest you wait for a while because most current gen AMD GPUs have come down in price and they also go on discounts from time to time. So if you buy an AMD GPU right now, I don't 
think it will be a bad decision but if the rumors are true if the ray tracing performance gets significantly better and i'm sure the raster performance will get better with better power consumption compared to the current gen skews i think those are going to be great value and if the rumors are turn out to be wrong well then you still have the option to buy 7000 series gpus at a lower price than what they are right now so now you have to make your own decision i gave you all the information that you need to know with some of my opinions now let me know in the comment section are you buying a gpu or waiting it out don't forget to like the video if you liked it and if you disliked it feel free to press the dislike button it's completely free and talking about free things don't forget to subscribe it's also free and if you want to watch more videos from us check out this video right here and there's akash i'll see you guys in the next one